Hello everyone. Today's session is about setting up multiple active directories in one single tenant. Most of the time you just need one single active directory per tenant. But let's say if you were a bank and over the years through merger and acquisition you have now multiple active directories because the you know the old bank and the new bank they all keep their own active directory domain. So you need to have collaborations and users from different active di domains that doesn't belong to the same forest to all be able to log in to the same um, file sync and share solution here. So now let's take a look. So we have a setup here. So two active directory domains coming from two active directory LDAP server and their friendly domain name is different. And then if you want to add the third one, you could. So we can just use the add um, domain button here to point to a new LDAP server and then provide a user's credential that um, has enough privilege to query into the Active Directory domain. So we can just keep on added, um, adding the domains, um, even though you can add you know, a lot more, but typically you're just going to need like two or three. That should be uh, more than enough. And after you add the multiple domains, now you can see the dropdown shows two different domains. They are kind of completely unrelated to each other. So they, they both showed up. And if you look at the team folder, so team folder is where user collaborate with each other. And if you open up the team folder, you can see group um, and users can show up and then if you want to see the users and group you can add, you can see multiple domains showing up. Uh, you can add the Active Directory groups directly to the team folder. So it's much easier to set up the collaboration in the file sync and share way. So you have a team folder or multiple team folders, then uh, groups of users from Active Directory, which could be completely isolated to, you know, Active directories, they can collaborate and collaborate over one single team folder now. And so that's team folder. So both are uh, collaboration features. To set it up, um, you need to go to the cluster manager and enable that, uh, enable multiple active directory because um, it's not common for a tenant to have multiple direct active directories. So if you are a small um, or like a like a service provider servicing small um, shops like 20 user here 40 user there so most likely each one is going to have one single active directory so if every um, tenant only going to have one single active directory there's no need to enable the multiple active directory support because the the, you know, the list view here is going to show up right so it adds complexity to the UI so if you don't have multiple Active Directory or no need to support uh, more than one single Active Directory per tenant, then there's really no need to enable that. But now you can see after you enable the support, you can have multiple Active Directories, um, the, the Active Directory groups and, and users all using the same file sync and share solution. Thank you.